most welcome to all of you in the third part of the video on short answer questions on simulation with detail answer the core content of this video is nothing but electrical circuit simulation so let's start to understand the question and answers the first question what is electric circuit so electric circuit is nothing but it is a closed loop or path that forms a network of electrical components where the electrons can flow means in short the electric circuit is nothing but a closed loop or path in that uh, it is having the different components of the electrical uh, electric and through that the electrons can flow we can understand it with the help of the basic or simple diagram uh, it is nothing but a complete circuit or is a, it is a closed loop you can observe here this is the power source this is the uh, po positive terminal negative terminal and through that uh, positive terminal is connected to the resistance and resistance is connected to the capacitor capacitor is connected to the negative terminal of the power source means it is having the complete closed loop from uh, from positive end to the negative end of the power source through that resistance and capacitors these are nothing but consider as a load which are connected through that circuit so this is the meaning of the electrical circuit it is a closed loop okay so next question what is simple circuit okay the simple circuit is nothing but the circuit which consists of power source, load, conductors and switches. So power source is nothing but actually you can say that the cell or the battery is there. It is a power source. Then the load is nothing but it is also term as a resistor which is connected in that uh, loop. It, it is also a light bulb that lights when the current is uh, turned on or circuit is turned on. <coughs> Sorry. The conductors, uh, the conductors are nothing but the wires actually. They are connected to the uh, power source to the load and load to the negative terminal of the power source. Means such as one end of the wire is connected to the load to the source and the other end of the wire is connected, connects to the power source back to the load. Means from positive terminal to the negative terminal of source uh, through that the uh, load is present that is resistor is present that is called as a conductor. Then switch. The switch is nothing but it is a small gap in the circuit a switch can use to open or close the circuit through the switch we can make that circuit uh, make that circuit in working condition or in a stationary condition now next one when an electric circuit said to be complete an electric circuit is complete when there is at least one closed loop from the positive end to the negative end okay means uh, from positive end of the uh, load uh, positive end of the particular source that is a, a cell or battery to the negative end the complete connections are there then that will be called as a complete uh, electric circuit next question what is simulation of electric circuit okay it is a, having a very basic and interesting answer the circuit simulation is a process in which a model of an electronic or electric circuit is created and analyzed using various software algorithms which predict and verify the behavior and performance of the circuit means by creating the simulation uh, the sir, uh, simulation of electric circuit is nothing but by creating the circuit we can analyze it by with the help of various software algorithms which predicts us uh, the behavior and performance of the circuit that is called as a simulation of circuit next one need of circuit simulation or what is the need of the simulation of a circuit okay so you can observe here we can test the functionality of a circuit without creating it circuit simulation is a cost efficient time saving and we can easily design complex circuits using the software this saves the time and money of the design engineers and companies engineer can reduce the wastage of the valuable hardware resources we can easily redesign the circuit based on the simulation results and at each stage of the design and simulation engineer can verify the performance and compare it to the theoretical responses because of that we can or on the basis of this we can say that the need of the simulation is there next question advantages of the circuit simulation the first advantage we can easily change the models and overall behavior of the simulators on to go. Changing the values of the components is also very easy. 
Apart from the component values, we can also test the circuit for different input parameters such as voltage and current. So these are the advantages of the circuit simulation. So this is the end of the uh, video. So thank you so much for watching the video.